So I think when we think about sustainability of the specification systems, what we're really talking about is whether the current system delivers on the needs of each of the different stakeholders, so the engine manufacturers, the oil marketers, additive companies, um, and the engine test laboratories. I think I would contend that the evidence would suggest that it's becoming increasingly challenging for each of those stakeholders. Uh, in the OEM area, we see uh, major engine manufacturers bringing out their own in-house specifications when perhaps historically they would have used industry standard specifications such as GF6. Um, in the oil marketer area, we see an explosion of the number of, um, of, of base stock types, viscosity grades, SAPs levels and so on, which leads to obvious challenges in terms of logistics, marketing strategies and so on. And for the additive companies, um, there's a very high degree of cost escalation, which is significantly out of line with what we see in terms of market growth. So in all different areas, I see real challenges. For me, I think the real issue now is that we need to tackle these issues head on um, at this point in time, to be honest, before they become a major issue for the whole industry. I think the, the issues we see occurring on a global basis, so whether that be the API um, specifications in the United States or the ASEA systems uh, here in Europe, we see broadly speaking the same types of challenges. So we see specifications coming late to market relative to their original timelines. Um, roughly a year late for PC11, two years for the latest ASEA categories, or three years or even more maybe for GF6. Um, we see a test for the current specifications starting to run out in advance of the replacement tests being available. Uh, new engine tests are actually becoming very challenging to bring to market. Um, and throughout the entire process, we see a very rapid rise in the complexity of the systems underpinning the specifications. If we look back at history, we've arrived at the current situation through what I would describe as continual incremental improvements. So the current systems date back 25 years or in the API system even longer. Um, while those systems were introduced and introduced a lot of value at the time they were added, what's happened is over the, the subsequent 25 years or so, lots of little changes have been added and broadly speaking nothing has been taken away. So what you find is that the, the systems and the quality processes that underpin them have expanded, grown, got larger and larger over time. Always with good intent, but when you stand back and look at the system in totality now in 2016, it's just become a very large and unwieldy machine. Thinking in terms of where we go from here, my personal view is that the only way to address this is that each of the different stakeholders, the engine manufacturers, oil marketers, additive companies, and indeed the engine test houses, whether dependent or independent, need to sit down together. They've all got their own independent and slightly different drivers and requirements, very legitimate. And we need to just speak openly and honestly about those, really get them out on the table, and then bring together a, a consortium of industry experts to really work through what it takes to, to develop a new system, taking those requirements into account. So I'm, I'm very confident in my mind we can deliver a new system, but I think the first stage has to be getting everyone together around the table and being open and honest on their requirements.